Today, we are excited to release a new set of condition options for Divi that allow you to apply advanced display logic to any module, row, or section, hiding or displaying elements based on a set of conditions that you define, such as user role, date and time, post information, website location, and more. For example, you can enable floating promotional banners that automatically appear at the start of a sale and disappear at the end of a sale. You can display unique content to users when they log in and unique elements to specific users based on their user role. Divi comes with a wide range of conditions and so many unique ways to use them, so let's dig in and explore the details of this powerful new feature. You will notice a new Conditions option group in the Advanced tab of the Divi Settings pop-up. Here, you can add new conditions that will control an element's visibility. Conditions can also be combined to create advanced display logic. Let's look at a few examples. You can use Divi's condition options to display elements based on date and time. On this pizzeria website, we like to celebrate Pizza Fridays by running a buy one pizza, get one free promotion every Friday. And we want everyone who visits the website on Fridays to know about it. I created this floating promo bar to announce the sale and fixed it to the top of the browser using Divi's position options. Next, I used Divi's animation options to make it slide in when someone visits the page, so they are sure to take notice. That looks perfect, but Today is Tuesday, and this promo banner shouldn't be visible. We can use Divi's condition options to display this banner on a recurring schedule. I'll select the date and time condition and choose to only display this banner on Fridays. Now we can set it and forget it, and just watch people get excited about their weekly free pizza. Divi's condition options can be used to display specific content to logged in users. This website is an ad-free publication that's supported by paying customers who get exclusive access to certain articles. We need to display the full article to only paying subscribers. Everyone else will just get a preview and the option to join. I've set up a clever section that masks the content when non-subscribers scroll down the page using a gradient background and Divi's scroll effects. I only want this section to show up for logged out users. I'll add a new condition, select the logged in status condition type, and choose to display this element only when the visitor is logged out. I also used condition options to hide the full content of the article for logged out users. To put it all together, when you're logged out and not a paying subscriber, the full content is hidden and a content masking section is displayed. Once a paying subscriber logs in, the full content is revealed and the content mask goes away. Divi's condition options also come with some unique integrations for WooCommerce. On this website, I want to incentivize conversions by offering a coupon code to customers who have abandoned their cart while it's still filled with products. I created a floating pop-up to promote a coupon code, and I used Divi's position options to fix it to the bottom left side of the browser. I only want this pop-up to appear when someone has products in their cart, so I'll add the cart contents condition and configure it to display only when products exist in a customer's cart. I also want to make sure that we don't show this coupon code right away, but instead only show it to customers who have abandoned their cart during checkout. I'll use the page visit condition and only show this pop-up to customers who have visited the WooCommerce checkout page. Now, when someone adds products to their cart, goes to checkout, but gets cold feet before paying, the next time they visit the website, they'll see this 20% off coupon code and I bet that will seal the deal. Condition options can also be combined with theme builder template assignments, giving you two layers of conditions to work with the overarching theme builder template location, and the individual conditions within the template layout. There are also lots of conditions I didn't cover in my examples, so be sure to download Divi and check them out for yourself. Stay tuned for more great Divi updates coming soon, and don't forget to follow and subscribe so that you can be the first to know when our next Divi feature is released. 
I always give a detailed look into each feature and it's a great way to get up to speed before you update your website. If you are running your websites on Divi, these are videos you really don't want to miss.